Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is Jonas Report. It's for the 30th of November. And, well, just as we talked about, it was going to be the responsibility of bulls to keep pushing through. Started up towards new highs, but uh, unable to hold it and just pushing right back down to the same support level. And this was a result of what we could see already from the MBI readings here. The white now up to three. So it's an improvement, but uh, we could see that the push was still strong with the DOC on the green um, being over science, science still under red, but it was that reset of the uh, steel that gave a little bit of a push, but it just isn't enough to really drive things. You need the, that short interest to really uh, create that endless need of buying because, you know, shorts will pay any price to get out and they think that things are moving dramatically against them. And you can see the softness here from an NQ standpoint. It's just been in the MBI magenta being uh, below uh, yellow, but still not enough of uh, short activity to really compel a change. And, you know, even from a DOC standpoint, we're just riding the continued momentum of it until something changes. There's been nothing that's catastrophic. I mean, yes, they see some signs of slowing and softening from a Fed standpoint. We can see even from Treasury standpoint, yield continue to decline, which supports the market from that standpoint. But all we've done is just gotten back uh, to normalized levels from when uh, the market was expecting rates to continue to climb as oil was a little excessive and that was pushing things. Um, oil is making a little bit of a turn back. And if that continues, you'll see a, an inversion of that again. But the effects of uh, higher rates and the inflation are already starting to have its impact. Uh, and it takes many months for that to start to work itself through. And I was suggesting that that would be somewhere in the first quarter of January, February range. But um, we can see the early signs of it starting to slow a lot of different areas down. Um, and the late move from gold has just been the fact that Central banks and other things from other countries are just buying up the physical material um, rather than investing in U.S. treasuries. And, that, and this is that bifurcation of the you know world economies uh, from the east to the west, and uh, you know, and of course you get the BRIC situation that just is only going to compound issues for the dollar. And when we look at uh, crypto from that standpoint. Um, Holding pretty even. I mean, it's back up to, you know, relative highs, but it's also, again, going to need an impetus of inflationary uh, moves in that to really uh, give it another shot up, uh, so to speak, or at least some activity in the ETF range that would cause uh, some level of excitement. From the 50K standpoint, you can see the peak there took out at the uh, big push, and then we've just sort of been pushing underneath that 50% is ported off the 23 with the magenta moving back above. And that's where we're at right now. But if uh, MBI white climbs back over it, you would expect to move back towards uh, zero at that particular stage. That's definitely what to look for from an intraday action on that one. We look at it from a 5K standpoint, pretty clean. So you get these nice run up, a lot of positive extremes, and then just gets filled back during the day. Healthy from that standpoint, but... Uh, even later in the day, we caught some additional weakness and that sent things down to try and clear stops from the previous day. And we're just building back on that one right now, back pretty close to where the open was from the previous day. So relatively unchanged from that standpoint. But this ongoing battle, and I think now that we're uh, getting into December, we'll know pretty early on uh, whether or not the new mon money coming in from funds and that at the start of the month will really start to propel things. Um, and if that does not do it, then that's where things will get interesting. And that's where my expectation for the increase in volatility is. But definitely look for uh, indicators to come out for uh, tomorrow so that uh, you're all set to go. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk to you later. See you on the Skype chat.